Hey YouTubers, this is the Culture Confederacy. Welcome back to the channel. It's Tuesday night. Well, it looks like the Laundry family has a friend. Yes. So this is an article from yourtango.com. It's by Isaac Cerna Diaz. His last name is S-C-R-N-A-D-I-E-Z. Article came out today. Title of the article. Brian Laundrie's mom allegedly told friends she disliked Gabby Petito and wanted son to be with co-worker instead. Ooh. And of course, I'm enjoying my corncob pipe tonight while I'm doing this, drinking my Great Value Donut Shop coffee, as I say, as always. So according to the article, Laundrie family friend, former co-worker of Roberta Laundrie, Brittany Coleman, made some, quote-unquote, boisterous claims about Gabby Petito. In other words, Brittany is slamming Gabby in this article. Or actually, it's a, a, a Facebook post, I believe, that she made, and the events that uh, surround her unsolved homicide. So she makes these comments or these claims about uh, about Gabby and uh, the events surrounding the, this uh, this homicide. The now deleted post made by Coleman show that she was fiercely defending Brian Laundry. I think she had the hots for Brian. I'll explain that here in a sec. And internet sleuths have discovered that Coleman was allegedly very close to the Laundry family, digging through old photos and comments in a post she made to Facebook on September 28th. In the post, Coleman refers to Brian as a quote-unquote really nice guy, and his mother is an absolute gem. Bull. Roberta Laundry is probably the last gemstone anyone would want to pick out of a box. So Coleman worked with Roberta in Suffolk County when Laundry still lived in New York, where she claimed that she got very close to the Laundry family. And she goes on to say that, quote, Roberta Laundry is the most kind and wonderful person in the world, or no, the most kind and wonderful person in the whole world. There's nobody kinder than Roberta, than, uh, I want to call her Robert, Robetta, 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 there you go. Her name is Roberta Laundry. No. Uh, so she goes on to say, Roberta Laundry is the most kind and wonderful person in the whole world, with double exclamation marks, by the way, while flaunting a poncho that was crocheted by Roberta. Now, Coleman continued by stating, I think the hardest thing is all the people acting like they know what happened before any information got out and talking horrible things about Brian and his family. The, I, like, so I think this woman had the hots for Brian. Then she mentions a lot about the media and people online twisting the story and making it seem like Brian and his family were evil. But that couldn't be farther from the whole truth. And that's, in quotes, the whole truth. And here's where she slams Gabby. Gabby has a laundry list of mental health issues, financial irresponsibility, and Brian and his family have been so supportive through the years. Coleman throws insults at Petito and further elaborates on her problems in the comments. This included calling Gabby narcissistic, having self-control issues in OCD. Oh, but it gets better. It gets better because Coleman's mother also dug her claws into the matter by implying that Roberta would have preferred that her son not be with Gabby Petito. But here's a kicker, folks. Coleman's mother claimed, I told you, this woman, this uh, Brittany Coleman, has the hots. Or she had the hots for Brian. Coleman's mother claims that Roberta adored her daughter so much that she wanted my daughter and Brian to get together. My daughter felt that he was just too young for her, as he was around 19 when she was turning 30. Aha, see, I told you. Now, Brian probably rejected these overtures and chose Gabby, so Brittany became jealous, robbing the cradle. Now, Coleman's mother also confirmed that Roberta Laundry was not fond of Gabby because Gabby was always between jobs, sleeping all day, drinking, smoking herb, not oregano, folks, not being grateful for meals, and not helping around the house. In other words... She was any typical 20-something who's got to get out on their own, who's still in that in-between period where they're living with their parents, they have to pay a room and board, and they're trying to find their way. Now, Coleman's mother also said 
that the media and public don't know the truth about what really happened, but he doesn't seem to take any sides, having learned not to jump on any bad wag- uh, band- bandwagons. <laughs> Folks, I'm having fun tonight. I'm just having fun with you. So Coleman's mother, <clears throat> pardon me, Coleman's mother claims that Brittany has tried reaching out to the Laundry family, but they have not responded back. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Now there are a few other articles about this. You can go to Facebook and you can uh, read the actual post. These are just snippets from the post itself. Once again, this is an article from yourtango.com article by Isaac Cerna Diaz titled the article again Brian Laundry's mom allegedly told friends she disliked Gabby Petito and wanted son to be with coworker instead and you know I mentioned this before because when they had that presser if you remember this video where I talked about the press conference that the Petitos held and I said when they were asked about the relationship between the two families and their lawyer stepped and said, oh, well, they have requested the FBI not talk about that relationship. I said, uh, 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 there's something there. We need to know what it is. And I think that the laundries, Roberta and Christopher may have reached out to the Petitos saying, Hey, you know, your daughter isn't helping around here and it's causing friction with the family. So I think there was, uh, some rough patches in this relationship between these two families, almost like a Romeo and Juliet situation. But Gabby was head over heels for Brian and Brian was probably head over heels for Gabby. And so you now have this Brittany Coleman person coming out claiming that, you know, that this is the greatest family since sliced bread. Where was she three weeks ago? Now, I understand that the laundries are going through a really tough time because their son is allegedly accused of this crime. We don't know for sure if he did this or not. If he killed Gabby. I mean, time will tell. But, uh, you know, I know it's a tough time for them, but where was this person, this Brittany Coleman, three weeks ago? If these are such outstanding people, there are serious questions here why they haven't come forward, why uh, they haven't uh, been more cooperative. I mean, okay, they allowed the FBI to go to their home, search their home, but it seems like they've been dodging a lot of questions. And uh, there's just, I don't know, it just seems, you know what I think? I think this is a family that's a little off to begin with. So, uh, so folks, it's just, it just gets better and better. So if you like the video, please click that like button, subscribe, hit me up on Instagram at hashtag Jason Composes, leave comments below. And now you can reach me to uh, reach me at Twitter, Culture Confederacy at Twitter. <laughs> so once again, another one take video. That's how we do it. Uh, I haven't had enough coffee today. That's what it is. So I hope you all have a great week. And I've got some more video ideas in the future. And I will catch you next time. So this is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out, all that fun jazz. And I'll see you then. Good night, everybody.